so in punctuation today we'll start with uh, apostrophe right how can we use apostrophe in a sentence so let's see what happened okay now see use the apostrophe with contractions you must have seen sometimes we write do not as don't is not as isn't you are as you are and she is as she is okay so actually what are we doing we are making the word smaller we are contracting the word like do plus not so first word i am not uh, removing any letter from the first word like do not so i have removed one letter from not and in place of o i have put apostrophe same is plus plus not so is is i is I, first word is is i am not removing any letter second word not again o is removed and apostrophe is placed same here and same here she is she is you are you are so the apostrophe is always placed at the spot where one or more letters have been removed when you remove one or two letters in place of that letter you put put apostrophe second rule is saying use the apostrophe to show possession possession means belonging when anything is belonging to you or somebody else then how do you write you place the apostrophe before the s to show singular possession like one boy's hat so here the noun is singular one child's hat here again the noun is singular so after the word i have put apostrophe and added s it means the owner of this hat is one boy the owner of that this hat is one child is it clear so when you are using with singular noun you will write boy apostrophe s and then the thing which is belonging to him or her right now names ending in s or an s sound are also required to have the second s added now what is the difference here see this is like mr john's golf clubs mrs lee's books now here the name is j o n e s already s is there so we are not going to put uh, apostrophe here because already in the name s is added so this is john's apostrophe s this is lee's apostrophe s so l w -E, e s is lee's so we have to put what second s after the name apostrophe s so this will become mr john's golf clubs and mrs lee's books so do not confuse that already s is here so i'll i'm going to put here no this is the name so be very particular when the name is ending with s okay now the third rule is use wait a minute use the apostrophe where the noun that should follow is impiled what do you mean by impiled impiled means when you are not expressing anything directly you are not showing anything directly okay like this was his father's not his jacket so here you are not showing clearly okay you are not giving the uh, meaning clearly so here you can use that this was his father's not his jacket right now for singular we used after boy but when you are showing plural position what you have to do first rule is you make the noun plural first then immediately use the apostrophe how like if i want to make boy into plural i have written boys actresses women and children now they are changed into plural and simply after them i uh, after them i am putting what apostrophe so boys apostrophe hats 
expresses apostrophe hats, women's apostrophe hats, and children's apostrophe hats. Why? Women is already plural. Children is al already plural here. So I am not adding s after this. I will simply write women's hats. But here I have made them plural by adding s. So after s, I am putting apostrophe. And here before s, because women and children both are in plural form only, right? Now, when you are using with single uh, singular compound noun, show possession with apostrophe s at the end of the word, like mother-in-law. So if I want to show the possession for this, I'm going to put apostrophe at the end of the last word. Compound noun, which is more than made up of two nouns, okay? So mother-in-law's hat. Now, if I want to use it in plural, <coughs> now see, let me take this up, then it will be clear to us, okay? If the compound noun is plural, form the plural first and then use the apostrophe. Like, if I want to use for plural, what will I do? Suppose brother-in-law. So I will write brother-in-law's hat, hat. But if I want to make it, show it in plural, again, what will I do? I will make this plural first. So it will become brother-in-law's hat. So again, apostrophe S will come here. Now, use the apostrophe and S after the second name only if two people possesses the same item. If two people are having belonging, the item is belonging to the same people, then we will use apostrophe after the second name. Like, now see the difference. Sentence is same but the use of apostrophe is different in the, both the sentences. How? Sarah's and Amna's job contracts will be renewed next year. Means he, she has different contract and Amna has different job contract. Here they both are indicating separate ownership. He is separate owner and he, she is separate owner. But here, Sara and Amna's job contracts will be renewed next year. Here, this is joint ownership of Sara and Amna. So here I have used after Amna because this job contract is belonging to both of them. But here the job contract is different to this one and this one, right? So this way you have to be very particular and then use your apostrophe. Now, when there is possessive pronoun, we never use apostrophe. So these are your possessive pronouns. His, hers, its, theirs, yours, ours, whose. Okay. They already show possession, so they do not require an apostrophe. You never write yours like this, but sometimes when students are writing letter, they write your apostrophe S. Yes. So this is completely wrong. What is the correct form? This is the correct form. This means you are showing belonging and it doesn't need apostrophe. Okay. Next one is your hyphen. Hyphen means a small dash. Okay. Now. To check whether a compound noun is two words, one word or hyphenated, you may need to look it up in the dictionary. And if you can't find the word in the dictionary, treat the noun as separate words. Okay. So it is like I witness, I shadow. This is what compound word. And I opener. Here we have used hyphen here. Okay. Whenever you are using the numbers from 21 to 91, we always put hyphen here. Like the child, the teacher had 20, uh, 32 children in a classroom. Only 21 of the children were bilingual. Okay. Next is when you are spelling out fractions, 
writing the spellings of fractions like you need one third of a cup of sugar for for that recipe so when you are writing the fractions in spellings you will put a small hyphen mark here okay now adverbs what are adverbs verbs which modify uh, words which add something to the meaning of verbs like if i say uh, she writes neatly so how does she write we are showing the manner of her writing she writes neatly so rather than these words other than ly adverbs uh, compound words in front of a noun hyphenate again i am reading when adverbs other than ly adverbs are used means if ly adverbs are not used as compound words in then you have to write what you have to put a hyphen mark here how i will explain see this is a sentence the well known actresses actress accepted her award same sentence is again written in another manner the actress who accepted her award was well known the meaning is one and the same but here well known is without hyphen mark but here hyphen mark is there why because see this adverb is used before noun actress is naming word and well known is adverb so it is used before noun so we will put hyphen mark but if it is used after the noun then we will not put hyphen mark is it clear so when the combination of words is used after the noun do not hyphenate but if it is used before noun then you have to hyphenate it same hyphenate between two or more adjectives when they come before noun and act as a single idea again if two adjectives are coming before a noun and they are act, acting as a single idea they, they are giving single idea then we put hyphen sign here friendly looking men okay now is your use of capital letters or capitalization right so first is when should we use a capital letter first point is saying the first words of a sentence whenever you are starting a sentence the first word of the sentence should be written in capital second point the pronoun i is always written in capital so here again you can see quotation mark why it is quoted with inverted commas because we are showing the importance of this word i okay so whether this word is the starting the beginner of the sentence or is it is coming in the middle of the sentence i is always written in capital next is uh wait proper nouns the name of specific people places organization and sometimes things they are always in capital like garnet valley school district thomas jefferson indian removal act or federal bureau of investigation so this way the names of specific people places organization and sometimes things are always written in capital letters next comes your family relationships when used as a proper name like i went shopping for a birthday present for aunt sue i went to tea with mother okay this way also you can use capital letters the names of god specific deities religious figures and holy books like the bible quran use god the father now what is the exception here do not capitalize the non specific use of god suppose if you are writing i worship one female god and one male god so here you do not need to capitalize god here you can write it in small but generally we write god as capital okay because it is the name of uh, these are what name of god or specific deities they all are written in capital letters next is titles proceeding names but not titles that follow names now if they are proceeding with the names this is the title dr akar principal panning miss papa principal 
So if they are the titles, then we write them in capital letter. Next is direction. This is the most important part, which, which you should understand. Directions that are names, north, south, east, and west. Now, sometimes you must have seen that they are sometimes they are written in capital letters and sometimes they are written in small letters and we get confused. Where should we use capital and where should we use small letters? So when you are telling about the part of the country, like if I say, where do you live? And your answer is, ma'am, I live in North India. Okay. Or I live in South India. So you are telling the section of the country or you are telling the part of the country. So when you are telling the part of the country, you will write in capital. But when you are traveling, suppose you are traveling to the west part. Okay. So how will you say travel west and you will reach the Pacific Ocean. So when you are telling the compass direction. Okay. Like when we travel, what do we use? We use compass direction also or not? Hum use karte na? Car mein. Kya la, kya batao? Anyone of you can tell me if you want to reach your destination. What do you use? Yes, let me ask Avni. Okay, wait a minute. One minute. Okay, Pratika is also ready to give the answer. Yes, Pratika. I'm Google map. Yes. So when you use Google map for direction, it shows compass direction only. Okay. It shows the direction of compass that you want to travel to this destination, which is in your north side, which is in your no, uh, west side. So when you are using the compass direction, you will write the directions in small. When you are telling about the section of the country, you will use capital. Is it clear now? So you will use it carefully. Now you will not make a mistake. How to use capital and where to use small? Am I clear? Just give me a thumb up fast. Okay, good. So now let's move to another one. Now the days of the week, the months of the year and holidays, but not seasons used. Generally, generally we never uh, use uh, uh, capital letters for season. We can write them in small. Okay. Uh, what do we write in capital? The days of the week, months, years and holidays like Black Day, April, Tuesday, Autumn. Generally, we do not write. If we are writing in small, it is not wrong. But when it is not wrong. Okay. If seasons you are writing in small letters, it is not considered as wrong. But when you are writing like this, as in title, as a title, like winter of 2015 or summer of 2021. So when you are using it, it as a uh, title, then you will capitalize it. Okay. Next is name of countries, nationalities and specific languages. They are also written in capital letter like German, Germany, French, Cherokee, and Native America. Next is the first word in a sentence that is a direct quote. Now, direct quote is what? I told you the exact word spoken by the uh, speaker. Sorry, the direct word spoken by the person or author, writer. Okay. So here, William Church Hill is saying, Success is not final. Failure is into fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. So these are the exact words of the speaker. So we will write the first letter as capital. Okay. Next, the major words in the title of books, articles and songs, but not short propositions or the articles the, a uh, or n. If they are not the first word of the title. Now, whenever you are writing the major words in the title of the books or in articles or in songs, they can be in capital letters 
but if articles and prepositions are used like the a uh, or n we write it in small letters if they are not the first word of the title if your the name of the book is starting with the article the a uh, or n then you will capitalize it otherwise if it is coming in the middle then we do not need to capitalize that letter right members of national political racial social civic and athletic groups this these are also written in capital letters like republican party seminole indians next is periods and events but not century numbers we never write 100 century in capital century is always written in small letter only but if i write events or periods like jackson era so this is period or event we will write in capital jefferson administration great De depression so this way you have to remember that periods and events will come in capital but centuries will not come in capital next is your trademarks this is i think everybody's favorite mcdonalds so this you must have seen it's always written in capital letters wendy's windows these are trademarks windows is in computers so this is always written in capital chickpea a these are trademarks so trademarks will always come in capital letters now words and abbreviations of specific names now sometimes when we write message on whatsapp we write asap give me the message asap so what is the meaning it means as soon as possible so instead of writing these words we just write asap mr this is the full form if i say he is an ips officer so i mean to say he is an indian police service he is in, in indian police service he is an ias the full form is indian administrative service so these are the abbreviations of some words so they are always written in capitals okay so this is all about your chapter of punctuation and 